What is going on everybody? Broken Mike here and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of BUW. This is episode 71 part 1 and of course this is the final show before our pay-per-view next week Broken Asylum. So we've got a massive, massively stacked card for you once again. We've got a humongous championship match coming your way later on this, this evening. With the UK championship being defended. K9 defending against the number one contender Parker Plays. Of course we've got the women's tag team champions of Rage Queens in our main event. They will be taking on two members of Best Frenemies. Hannah and Aaliyah in an all champions clash. And we got a whole bunch of other stuff thrown in between. So, as you can see, we're going to be kicking things off with Jake Hudson versus Felix of the NWO. Who's going to get a win here? Let's find out. So, of course, if you do enjoy this video, then do make sure to hit that like for Mike leave some comments down below and of course make sure you subscribe to the channel if you have yet to do so and don't forget to ring that notification bell So as always, we are live from Blackpool, England, in a capacity crowd inside the famous tower. Getting ready for some more BUW action. So of course, uh, Jake, who's uh, who they want to win this match. trying to get that and big win, that's eluding him. Jake has had some. I think he can be well, he had a front row five star classic against uh, David Labby fairly recently, and of course uh, took part in the eight-man battle royal to crown the number one contender for the UK Championship. Jake did reasonably well in that. He was in the final four. So he, so there's a much needed win for both these superstars on the line here. And Jake's about to take on a young man who has yet to pick up his first win here in BUW, but has shown a lot of promise. And here comes Felix. And his opponent representing the NWO from El Paso, Texas. Weighing in at 190 pounds. The chosen one. Guys, this match is and of sure course, not uh, especially considering Felix is also second tonight. generation. Right, Michael, this match will be one we'll be talking Felix, about for uh, a long time to come. His parents are current BUW superstars at the Minion and Meowjid and as we mentioned Meowjid will be in the main event later on this evening so we've got two men who are trying to get that big win here tonight and only one of these two will do so 
so oh, here we are. We're officially underway. Jake with the takedown. Oh, oh, Jake with the uh, cheap right hand there. Oh, There's crucifix, the but no painful done. attempt by Felix. Oh, oh, is, is it Felix doing what I think he's doing? Again. That's two. And perhaps a the three amigos, Uno, they Dos, and Trez, all hit their mark. Now in a lover lockup. Referee trying to separate them two, and he gets a clean break. Oh, he knew that was coming. Felix with the counter. The oh, Jake retaliating there. Delivers a bat breaker. He's going for it again. Uno. Dos. Again. That's two. And perhaps Trez. So we've seen uh, three amigos twice now. Stand up in Zaguri. Takes down Jake. And follows up with a double stomp to the gut. Looking for another in Zaguri. Jake saw it coming that time. And Jake's a bright superstar in his own right. And that is why he can pull off moves like that. Hits the uh, Pele kick. Power bomb from Jake Hudson. Block from Felix. The takedown goes into the chin lock. This superstar taking their time. Jake trying to get back to a vertical base. He does. Couple of elbow strikes releases the hold. Snap mirror takedown from Jake. An elbow to the head. Kick to the gut. Oh, clothesline sends Jake over the top rope. Dangerous out here, especially when there are no count outs. Of course, uh, right both these the men are using the no count out rule. Oh, right straight to, you're near out the cameraman there. Felix sending Jake right into those steel stairs. Look. Look at this. Lovely Maybe Northern Knight suplex from here. Felix. Yeah, he needs to make an adjustment here. Back in from the floor. Jake Borton's back inside. He's one step ahead there. Jake at the block. Off the ropes. Trap the arm. Floats over. Neck Lovely net breaker. Oh, is that too sweet gesture? We're in the I don't think the NW will be too happy with that. The over and over. Jake stomping a mud hole in Felix. For move. Oh, he's going for it, the car crusher, but Felix had his foot on the bottom rope. Clear as day there. And there's a bro kick right to the face of Felix, but he. Uh, this is where Jake's frustrations get the better of him hits a bro kick and does not capitalize takes down uh, Felix at the clothesline Jake going top rope there's a Phoenix splash there only a one count but Jake's not deterred. He's going right back to the top rope again. He's going for it again. Well, I should say that was a corkscrew moon, so I do beg your pardon, folks. Oh, Felix, Felix. Oh, here we go. Felix has him dialed it up. 619. Is this going to be Felix's first win here? No, it isn't. Felix can't believe it. 
Felix going to the top rope, he's not going to waste any time. Five star frog splash. That's got to do it. And that is that. What a win. What a match. Felix getting his first win here in BUW. Now can he build on from that? This was one of the uh, corkscrew moonsault attempts from Jake. Went into the pinfall attempt the first time. Barely, not even a two count on that one. There was a 6-1-9 by Felix. Come back in, went for the cover. Only get a two count on that occasion. And there you go, there was the coup de grace, as you would say. The five star frog splash. Hit it, hit it, <laughs> hit it smart for sure. And what a win. Felix gets his first dub here in BUW. And I'm sure his uh, parents will be so proud of him. Picking up his first win here. Congratulations, Felix. Next up, folks, we've got some tag team action coming your way. And this one, we have got... Natalie and her partner for this one Maria and they're going to be taking on Christina and Madison Unicorn Kai About to make her way down to the ring first. Representing the Psycho family, Maria. Introducing first, from New York, Maria Jones. The atmosphere inside the So this is going to be a uh, first time uh, for Maria and Natalie. Never teamed together before, but uh, they will do here tonight. So this should make for interesting reading. I'm sure that hair flick was for uh, her boyfriend, Jesse. And here comes the hometown girl. And her partner from Blackpool, England. And Natalie, who uh, last week picked up a much needed victory over BVD, 
devastating. And of course, she Even likes to get a bit of a right revenge now, over Unicorn tonight, Kai here tonight. Setback. I don't know who's more excited to get this one going, these women or this crowd. Or Saxton. Jeez, would you relax already? I know this is a big match, but you need to be bouncing up and down. So like can that, that build up on, from great. that win with against BBD and into a tag match with Maria? I suppose we're about to find that answer out and more. Look how fired up these two are. They're ready to go. And their opponents. This is it. And this here they match. come, All ladies and gentlemen. And Christina right and following just and behind her. Oh, is Madison. We know how... Uh, a hypo uh, Maddie is because she has got a big tile opportunity coming up next week at Broken Asylum and a triple threat match for the six shooter championship and uh, Christina sporting some new ring gear here tonight as well of course the two sisters uh, the daughters of Rubin who will be in action following this match so great to see these two girls back in action in BUW of course they made their return a number of weeks ago and here we go, here we go. so it's going to be Maria and Christina to start things off Maria with the top wrist lock gets the better of that one Maria tags in Natalie into the collar and a lock up. Only one competitor comes Christina with the waist lock. Takes down Natalie. Oh, and a right hand there to Natalie. I think mean, she's going to take too kindly to that. Who's going to end up with the upper hand? Back in Christina in against the ropes. Referee looking for a clean separation. And he gets it. Oh, drop kick from Natalie. There's a jawbreaker. Absolutely. Down goes Christina. Natalie tagging in Maria. Quick tags between uh, Maria and Natalie. Maddie's calling for a tag. And she makes the tag. In comes Madison. All bounces off the turnbuckle. Weiss lock into the German suplex. And if she doesn't, I don't see how they can win this thing. That's how important this tag is right now. Double it underhook. Butterfly oh, suplex. Snap mirror takedown. No one home. Off the rope. Well, oh, into the corner now. And uh, Maria with the 10 punches of doom, it seems. There you go. All ten punches land there. Find their target. Standing, Standing drop, drop kick. kick. Drop suplex. Saido suplex from Tag Maria. In. And in comes Natalie. In a standard tag team match, one competitor is in Considering this is the first time Maria and Natalie are teaming together. They, they're doing uh, really good, frequent tags in and out the ring. Kick to the midsection, double underhook, into the suplex. Standing, stand up in Zaguri. Natalie going to the top rope, she, she's not going... Oh, elbow drop to the back. I'm going to say Natalie is probably a bit early for the uh, demon's kiss or kiss of the demon. Probably a bit soon for that, but uh, she tags in Maria. Swinging net breaker, but Maddie gets right back up. 
She's taken on quite a bit of damage here, guys. And if she doesn't find a way to make the tag soon, this one might be over. Oh, and Maria's in trouble. Exploder suplex. Quickly, Could this be it? One, two, this was not over yet. Near fall. Maddie come so close to getting a win. She returns the favor there. Oh, Maddie with the guillotine. Maria's got nowhere to go. Oh, wait a second. Oh, she bridges out of the hold. Nicely done. Club it. Clubbing uh, Maria. Knocks her down. In comes Christina. Unicorn Coin now in control of the match. Back suplex. Oh. Scoop slam. Oh, there's a kick to the back. Uh oh. Christina with the cross arm breaker. Is Maria going to submit? No, Natalie makes the save. Lights over DDT. I tell you what, Christina has been on fire since her return. Natalie tags in with a hot tag. Whip into the corner. Springboard into, into the clothesline. Natalie looking to get the, to score the win here. Just a two count. Right hand there from Natalie. Flatliner. Oh, and there's a Koji clutch from Natalie. But Christina able to escape. Oh, Natalie ducks the right hand. Christina answers back. Natalie answers back again. Christina answers back. Unbelievable. Chop after chop, shot after shot. What a tag match we're seeing here. Springboard into the corner for the win. And again, Christina's able to kick out after a two. Natalie can't believe it. Kick to the back of the head. And there's a forearm to the face. Floats over DDT. Whip into the corner. And the kicks. Oh, nice backhand. Tags in Madison and Natalie. Wisely rolls onto the ring apron. Oh, Natalie. That was a cheap shot. Lovely DDT, though. Kick to the spine. Kick to the... Kicks after kicks. Oh my goodness. Again the flatliner and again going into the Koji clutch. This time Madison is in trouble. And again, uh, just like with Christina, Madison able to find a way out. And now Maddie has the guillotine. Can she es can Natalie escape? And Natalie bridges out. And what a clothesline. Almost took Madison's head off. Russian leg sweep. Natalie fired up here. <clears throat> Madison with a counter. Clubbing blow. Oh, Natalie with a single on DDT counter. And the fans here absolutely loving what they're seeing so far. Natalie now. 
delivering the 10 punches of doom all 10 shots land their mark Natalie sent over the top rope but lands on the apron Madison now turn their attention to the fans oh knee to the back of the neck Natalie tags in uh, Maria oh that is just insult to injury right there and Maria just tags Natalie back in off the ropes Oh, counter. Drop toe hold. Off the ropes. Power slam. Maddie able to make the tag to her sister. In comes Christina. Lovely drop kick. Natalie in a spot of bother here. Gets dumped over the top rope. Of course, the no count, of, no count out effect is, well, in effect. Both ladies back inside the ring. Kick to the midsection. Running hip attack. Cover. And it's over. And Christina pins Natalie. Maria just a split second too late there. What a tag match. What action we saw here tonight and I'm sure their father Ruben will be absolutely delighted backstage as he prepares for his matchup. And uh, as they say, as Unicorn Kai say, Unicorn Kai never dies. And they've shown that here tonight, that fighting spirit. What a match, what a win for these two young ladies, these two second generation superstars. What a win, what a matchup once again. Next up, our final match before the end of part one. It's going to be a first time ever match. And it is going to be... Max. And he'll be taking on one member of the Broken Psychos. Ruben.
And of course, uh, arriving in style to the ring, Max, who uh, lately has had Cadigan's back. Not entirely sure if these two are going to be a tag team down the line, but you never know. They did uh, get a tag team victory over myself and Ruben fairly recently. And the control he shows inside the ring is really impressive, guys. Michael, that's a product of him understanding the importance of discipline and continually practicing it, regardless of the circumstances. Max has a bright future in front of him as a challenge for championships, but uh, yet to grab that brass ring, yet to win his first championship here in BUW. Now, of course, we all know what day it is. Yeah, it is, of course, Ruben Day. And, of course, he's representing the Broken Psychos as well. And I'm sure he's, uh, despite the seriousness on his face right now, is one proud father just seeing two of his daughters get a big tag team victory over Maria and Natalie. And of course, he'll, I'm sure he'd like to follow suit. A two-time Intercontinental Champion and a former International Tag Team Champion. So this should be a slobber knocker of a match, as uh, a famous ring announcer once said. Let's just call it for what it is. And here we go. This match is not an impressive display. A lock up, Rubin with a wrist lock. Switches it around into the hammer lock. Oh, gets the better of that one. No one there for Max. Flatliner. Kick to the midsection. DDT. Lands flush. Scoop slam. Body blows. And I'm sure the wind will be knocked out of Rubin right there. Drops the elbow. Rubin just really hasn't got started in this match just yet. Max has the nerve hold right on the right on the shoulder and that does hurt. Oh, the dreaded claw to the shoulder. Oh, man. How Rubin with an answer, kicks in the midsection and delivers a straight up right hand. Kicks at the back of the head. Oh, what a clothesline. Another clothesline. Max sits up from that one. Body blow there. Shot to the back. Flatliner. Oh, look out. Back suplex. Ruben pulling himself back up. Max in control. Oh, off the ropes. Another flat liner. And Ruben regrouping. The net breaker. This match's brutality starting to show on him. Yeah, he's looking off his game now. Into the corner. Oh, Max gets the boot up. Oh, 
Oh, what a clothesline. What's Ruben doing here? Oh, stomping the head of Max. And a kick to the wrapped with the back of the head. Spinning wheel kick. And Ruben is fired up and the fans love it. Heavy duty right hand. Knocks down Max off the apron. Kick to the midsection. And then the right hand. And an STO. Max counters. Bringing it back inside. Rubin throws Max across the ring now. Spear! That could be it. Goes into the cover. Just a one count from the Spear. And Rubin can't believe it, just like everyone else. That's a That was a bit of a shock. You thought we'd have been down for a two count at least. Oh! Right round the ropes, right in the throat of Rubin. Another clothesline. Oh, and oh, Rubin, Rubin, he's thinking about it. There is the Acosta lock, but Max two near the ropes. Oh. Max counters, drops Ruben with a DDT. Elbow drop. Ruben holding that arm. Oh, counts. Oh, these two hosses, you have to say. Giving everything they got. Cover from Ruben. Oh, Ruben nearly stole one there. Ruben can't believe it. Max trying to uh, keep away from Ruben. And literally, Ruben's right hand is lit up. Oh, Max saw it coming. But no, oh, look out, look out. Tombstone pile driver. Is that it? No, it isn't. Ruben's foot was on the bottom rope. So both men had hit their finishers. But both occasions, the opposition had their foot on the rope. Oh, down goes the official. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Rubin's swinging wildly. I don't know what Rubin's... I don't know what was going on there with Rubin. Did he see something we didn't? Finds a way to Rubin counters. To Sends Max to the outside. Out Just it's dumps him out. No and of course, BUW fans celebrate Rubin Day every day. Well, they get to see a Rubin victory here. Looking for the Acosta kick. Blocked it. Oh, the Dragon Sleeper. But Rubin, too close to the ropes once again. Back suplex. Oh, my goodness. Flatliner. What a match, though, we're, what we're seeing. Right hands off the ropes. These two gladiators giving it abs absolutely everything they've got. Max feeling a little bit fatigued, perhaps. Kick, no, no. I think Ruben saw it coming. I think he was thinking last ride. A one-armed spine buster. Oh, 
another clothesline. How much more can these men take? Rubin going top rope. We'd not custom to seeing him dive off the top rope, and there was water in the pool. That splash cover. No, was that free? No. 2.9 says the official. We, oh, I can't believe it. I just, I just do not believe it. What an unbelievable match we're seeing here. You get this every week here in BUW. Regardless who wins, they earn it. No, no one deserves to lose, but someone has to lose. Max has Rubin up again, drops him with the suplex, and the wily veteran Rubin roll into the ring apron, and Max wasting a little bit too much time it seems. Kicked in the midsection. Oh no, we've seen him do this multiple occasions. Last ride, count to a hundred. It's done. No, it isn't. I do not believe what I'm seeing here, folks. Ruben kicked out the last ride. Oh, Ruben. He's, he's, he's trying to get out of the tombstone. He's got it. Look at this. Tombstone by your driver from Ruben. Insult to injury, perhaps. The Acosta lock. But two near the ropes once again. Oh my goodness. Oh man. Oh my goodness. And looking for the splash for the second time, but this occasion, Max got them knees up. Bad move there. Totally miscalculated the situation. Ruben counters. Kick to the gut. Oh my god, what more can these two, what can they do to each other is the question. This is going to be a hard act to follow regardless of the outcome. Oh look out below, look out! Superplex! Off the top, are you kidding me? This has to be it now, Ruben covers. And Max still kicks out and Rubin. He, he, he just can't believe what on earth has he got to do to beat this man. Right hand from Rubin. Staggers Max. Off the ropes. Another vicious clothesline. Oh my god. Body shot. Off the ropes. Spinning wheel kick, no one home. Rubin regrouping. Another body shot. Knocks Ma well, not Max down to the ground there. Kick to the back of the head. Oh my god. Max gets launched across the ring. Elbow after elbow from Rubin. Ma oh my god, Max just sits up. This man ain't human. Oh my god. Oh, right to the bread basket once again. Fall away slam. I think Rubin was looking for the uh, Acosta lock, but to no avail.
holy crud who's going to win this thing I'm working on the left arm elbow drop to the shoulder oh my no. oh this might do it hell's gate the triangle choke there's no humane way that Ruby can survive oh Ruby oh Max what has he he just made a mistake big mistake he let go of the hold Dragon Sleeper Ruben's got nowhere to go Oh wait a second, yes he does. Uh oh, look out. Alabama slam. Spinning with a heel kick from Ruben. Ruben going top rope again. Drops the knee. He's going up top again. And he does it again. Oh my god. Now he goes for the cover. And oh my god. Max kicked out again. Ruby can't believe it. What's it going to take to keep either man down? That could do it. Spear. Ruben covers Max for the win. No! And Ruben's calling the ref out on that on that uh, two count. Oh my God! No one there for the uh, spinning heel kick. Look for the overhead belly to belly. Max counters. There's a boot to the face. What is going to keep either man down for the count of three? Right to the back. Max now Big determined run. to keep Ruben down once and for all. There's a knee to the spine. Regardless of the outcome, I think everyone will have to applaud these superstars. Oh, and Max. Surely. There it is, Hell's Gate for the second time. Ruben has to submit. He, co he couldn't hold on. And what a win for Max. That is huge. No matter, like I said, no matter how which way you slice it, we saw a five-star match. Good grief! Oh, look at it! I love this. This was a brilliant counter from Ruben. Ruben hit his own version of the tombstone on Max. Neither men were going to yield. Here is your winner, Max, the Destroyer. And there's your winner here in this but, uh, match. end of the day, your winner of this I match this is time, Max. And, here and I'm sure uh, Cadigan, somewhere watching, will be very happy with uh, what he's seen from, well, what could you say, bodyguard? Would you say tag team partner? Either way, we just saw an absolute slobber knocker. And Max gonna head out into the sunset.
and gets his arm raised in victory once again and I definitely think there's titles in that man's future but anyway folks that is going to do it for the first part of BUW hope you've all enjoyed this one if you have do be sure to hit that like for Mike slam some comments below and of course don't forget as well make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to stay up to date but this is just the beginning folks we've still got plenty more action still to come including our United Kingdom title match plus our women's tag team main event the all champions clash right there now those are going to be some bomb bonus right there plus a loads more thrown in between as well so I hope you'll be able to join me for the next part of BUW so until then I'll catch you wonderful people in part two. Peace out.